Welcome to another video. This is a 2004 Switzerland team selection test problem. And all we have to show is that if we're given A to be this and B to be this, C is this, D is this, just prove that the product of A, B, C and D is 2004. I had this question for a while. I almost got to the end, but every time I almost got to the end, I just felt there's something missing. So I introduced this question to Pranil Samal, absolute genius. <laughs> and then he told me what the key was. He just emailed me the solution. I looked at it. I thought about it very well. And I said, this is it. That's the key to it. So shout out to Pranil Samal for helping out with this problem. And now we can solve it. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you would observe in this problem is that it looks like A, B, C, and D are what you get when you try to solve a polynomial equation. You know, when you start having square roots and square root, it means you solved a, an equation. So I try to say, what exactly was that equation? And we can see it. Let's assume that we're saying um, A is equal to this. We could as well say from here, let's, let's, let's square both sides. We're going to have A squared um, equals 45 minus the square root of 21 minus A. Let's pull this 45 here. We're going to have a squared minus 45 will be equal to negative square root of 21 minus a. We can square both sides again, which means we have a squared minus 45 squared equals, if you square this, you're just going to have 21 minus a because the minus square root will disappear, right? And we can actually distribute this minus 90 a squared plus is 20 plus 20, 25 equals 21 minus a. Okay, let's form a polynomial. We're going to have a to the fourth minus um, 90 a squared plus a. If we bring these two together, we're going to get plus 2004. That is the 2004 we're looking at. So this looks like A is the root, is one of the roots. Remember, you're supposed to get four roots here. It's one of the four roots of this polynomial equation. Okay. So the question is, if A is one of the roots, will I get this same polynomial if I did this same expansion for B? So we have, let's, let's draw a line here. So we're going to have b squared equals 45. It's going to be plus the square root of 21 minus b. If you bring this here and you square it, you're going to end up with b squared minus 45 will be equal to, and then we square it, it will get rid of this. You have 21 minus b. b to the fourth minus 90b squared plus 2025 equals 21 minus b. Now, if you bring all together, you have b to the fourth minus 90b squared. Um, bring this b here, it becomes plus b, and this would be plus 2024 equals zero. Now, is this the same thing as this? Because if we can write this the same way as this is, it means it's the same polynomial that they came from. They're both roots of the same polynomial. The problem is these two match because you can replace the letters with A or B, it doesn't matter. These two match. Everything matches. I just noticed that. So this polynomial is the same thing as this polynomial. So we can say that A and B are the roots of the same polynomial. And that only worked I think because these two are the same. What if we try it for C? Okay, I'm gonna try it for C. What I'm gonna do now is try it for C and for D, okay, quickly. We're gonna say that C squared, um, and then 
minus 45 is going to be the same thing minus square root of 21 plus c. So when we square both sides, we're going to have c squared minus c to the, the square of this is going to be c to the fourth minus 90c squared plus 2025 will be equal to this would be square this is just going to be 21 plus c so that means if we bring everything together we get c to the fourth minus 90c squared minus c plus 2024 is equal to zero okay now i just want to see this now has a negative See, everything else is the same as what we had before. It's just that instead of this being a plus, and that was where I got stuck for a long time until Pranil showed up. So, and if we do the same thing for D, it's the same thing we're going to get. We're going to get the same thing. So also, we can say also, we have that D to the fourth minus 90 d squared minus d plus 2 2004 rather this is 2004 2004 is equal to zero so what's the remedy what if we replace we just want to make this look like these other ones what if we replace negative c with positive pick another thing so let's say let a b c d e f let's do e and let negative d be equal to f. It means we can rewrite this expression. Remember, whether it's positive or negative, the squares or the fourth powers will not be affected. This is the only thing that's gonna, that the sign will be important too, because all these two will be positive, okay? So we can actually rewrite this expression and say that we have e to the fourth minus 90 e squared plus now it's going to be plus e instead of minus c plus e plus 2004 equals zero and the same thing happens in the case of f so we can say that f to the fourth minus 90 f squared plus f plus 2004 is equal to zero so clearly everything we are dealing with comes from the same polynomial did you see that and remember that what we're looking for is to prove that the product of these will be 2004. Well, what we're looking for is A times B times C times D will be the same thing as A times B times... Okay, so C will be negative E. Let's write it this way. C will be negative E and D will be negative F. Okay, that way it's easier for us to see that here. So it's going to be times negative E times negative F, which is the same thing. Look, the product A, B, C, D will be this, which is equal to A, B, E, F. So the product of the root of A polynomial is always given by, remember, Vieta's formula. Product A, B, E, F will be equal to, in this case, the, the degree of the polynomial is 4. So, raised to the power 4 of A sub, what would it be? 0. The very constant term over A sub n. In this case, our A sub 0 is 2004. A sub, let's write A sub, A sub n. Okay, so a sub um, n is, um, the leading coefficient is 1 in this case. And we have, um, what's the other thing? Our n is equal to 4. So we know that this product, a, b, c, d, equals a, b, e, f, which is equal to negative 1 raised to the power 4 times um, 2,000 and 4 over 1, which is equal to 2004. So, and that's it. 
So the biggest task actually was me realizing that I could have transformed this into this by just replacing the pluses and the minuses, if that's it. I mean, replacing the C with minus E, replacing the D with minus F, and I would have gotten the same polynomial. Well, this is how this one goes. It's a very pretty interesting problem. You just have to see it, because if you don't see it, you can't answer it. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.